Today we're gonna do something a little different. We are gonna dive into one of my favorite beats and songs, Kanye West Through the Wire. Let's go. All right, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. I encourage you to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Why? Because it lets other people know the video is pretty dope. And then they were like, damn, this video is actually pretty dope. All right, so today I want to do something a little different. I want to talk to you guys about one of my favorite beats, one of my favorite songs, Kanye West, Through the Wire. And I think it's kind of funny, the timing for this. But I've actually had this idea for this video in my head for a really long time. If you guys haven't heard, Kanye West, Through the Wire was actually inspired and uses, it actually uses uh, Shaka Khan's Through the Fire. And I don't know, for me, hearing it for the first time, it was just like, first of all, it's a very inspiring motivation in the song, you know, especially when you hear about how he created it and the events that led to him creating this song. So you have to, you know, admire that. And then on top of that, the fact that he produced it himself, because, you know, 2003, 2004, this was a time where the formula for creating a successful song, you know, for creating a hit was a producer, a lyricist, and then a rapper and then a sound engineer and it all puts together. And then you have Kanye comes into the game and Kanye's like, I make my own beats and I also rap. So it was just like, I didn't know at the time that it was a possibility. So to hear Kanye say, I've made my beats, you know, and I use samples from like hits from like back in the day, I was like, this is actually pretty cool. So as far as Kanye was through the wire, um, we all know he uses Shaka Khan's through the fire and what he did was that high pitch through the wire that you hear in the back it's actually he turned it up a couple of pitches i love my pitches so i did that so i have that going but like the concept the idea behind this video is that because the song had such a big impact in my life because it was one of the first times in my life that i actually thought hey you know maybe music production thing is something that i want to do so big ups to that song and there's just certain parts of the song that i really really love so what i want to do in today's video is we are going to grab shaka khan sample which is what kanye did to create through the wire so we're going to grab that sample and we're going to turn it into something different but the reason why this is connected to kanye west through the wire is because what i'm going to do is I'm going to keep the same drum pattern that he used in Through the Wire and see what we come up with, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really excited about that. All right, so because I'm super, super indecisive, I blame myself being a Gemini. I am remodeling my room again. Um, it just feels like it's a little too cluttered in here. So I'm kind of getting a little reorganized, especially since I have no motive to keep the setup I have now since the TV's gone. So what I'm doing right now is I'm organizing my shelves. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna flip them over horizontally again. And the goal is to switch the desk from over here to over here. So yeah, let's see how long that takes me. All right, so we're running at 83 BPM, 85 BPM, because the original Kanye West Through the Wire runs at 83 BPM. So here goes a little snippet of the sample. This is actually the chorus. And we're not gonna play the whole thing because ain't nobody trying to get copyright and whatever, whatever. So this is the sample, obviously. That's enough of that. So as far as the drum pattern goes, where's that drum pattern at? This is what I had in mind. So we go, we gonna go like. So that's what I wanted to sound like. So let's do that. The gentle run with you. Alright, so, uh, fix my shirt real quick. So this is what the drums sound like so far. It goes a little something like this. So, we have our drums. So we have our drums, we have our hi-hats. Let's add our 808 bass. Hey, hey. All right, so that takes care of that. Okie dokie, so it is the next day and just wanna show you a quick little update. 
of what the room slash Thunderdome slash studio looks like. And this is what we have. So, bed stay in the same spot. Will, say what's up. Hey, Will, what's up? Bed stay in the same spot. And then switch the bookshelf with all my goodies. And I turned it horizontally and I switched it with the desk. So now the desk is over here. And I got the laptop in the corner. I got the keyboards down there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Down there is the record player. So the object of the game is to eventually buy some records so I can start sampling and have some fun with it. I put up a picture of the squad and I put up a Disneyland Space Mountain poster because yeah, got it like that. Okay, so we chopped up the sample. First thing I had to do was get it in up in tempo and that took forever and a day. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, so now I'm trying to come up with like the intro, so. Okay, so that's what I want it to sound like as far as the intro goes. So let's make that happen. We'll see what you mean. So we gotta fix that, that's our intro, and then let's work. I'm talking, I'm talking. Okay, so that's our intro, we're gonna fix that. And then what we actually want the melody to sound like. like that vocal so I kept the vocal I turned it into a loop and it's gonna sound like this so um I know it's missing something uh, so now I gotta figure out what it is I think I don't know maybe we could find like a little piano or maybe something else from the sample Oh no, I forgot. Oh. That sounds all, all over the place. That sounds all over the place. That's funny. Anyways, let's see what happens if we put it all together. I don't care who you are, where you're from. I don't care who you are, how long you've been in the game, always save your shit. You don't wanna like X out and not save your shit. Ow! Or you don't wanna like crash and then you don't save your shit. Save your shit. But yeah, uh, Kanye West to the Wire, um, I think it's a really, really good song. And how he created the song once again, the lyrics behind it, and then just the beat, like he actually grabbed the drum kit from an Outkast song. I think it's called like Player's Ball or something. So that's pretty admirable. And then what he did with Chaka Khan's Through the Fire was also, it was different for me at the time. Like I knew it sounded different than other things playing at the time in the radio. And I know that he became known for using that high pitch chipmunk sound effect, which I learned how to do by, you know, hiking up the transpose and the in the sample by five semitones, and that's what I did. So once again, I learned something thanks to this experience, and I was able to work on a song that I really, really, really enjoy, and just like figure out the constructs of how, of how it's made, and try to make it my own, I guess, in a way. So. I hope you appreciated today's video. Uh, like I said, it's something a little different. Let me know what you think of the beat. If I should finish it, uh, should I add something? I don't know, but yeah, let me know what you think of the beat. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.
all that good stuff I talk about in every single video. And like always, do not sleep on me. Later.